Welcome to the 2019-2020 Foundation Scholarship Night. Um, I get to introduce this fine night and uh, just remind everybody in the audience to please turn off your cell phones. Oh, whoops. I uh, guess we don't have to do that today because this ceremony will be virtual. But just because it's virtual and different does not mean that it is not exciting and absolutely important um, to the lives of all the those of you who uh, have applied for this scholarship. Um, so tonight, I'd like to uh, just introduce you to something that is different. Normally, you don't see me in a hat, but I'm wearing a hat because regardless if we're in person or if it's virtual, this is our team, Monticello Magic. Proud to be here and introduce the night, and let's get the night going so we can meet all of our candidates who have applied for a scholarship. Oh my gosh, look at that guy's hair. You know, it would looked almost the same when I graduated in 1977, except for a lot less gray and a lot more bush. Well, hey, Monticello graduating class of uh, 2020, congratulations, you finally made it. Well, I'm Dave Shore, and I'm here to present the Amanda Rose Shore Memorial Scholarship Fund. This is the 21st year for our, uh, for our scholarship, and we've seen a lot of changes, as you will too in your lives, but no one could have seen this uh, pandemic. But on a positive note, it brings a good life lesson, and that lesson is expect the unexpected. And with that end, that's what we were thinking as we selected our scholarship. The uh, scholarship applicant is the first time that we've ever uh, awarded someone with, to uh, a community college, which, um, which is awesome. This young lady really impressed us. Um, and with that, the recipient of the 2020 Amanda Rose Scholarship is Megan Springsteen. Congratulations. Good evening. I am Pete Larson. I am the past commander of the Monticello American Legion Post 260. Last year, the American Legion celebrated 100 years of community support. Some of the organizations and community projects Post 260 supports are the Monticello Senior Center, the Monticello Community Help Center, the Monticello Rotary, the Monticello Moose Hockey, donations to the city of Monticello, for the new flagpoles at the Riverside Cemetery and the new park. We've donated to the Monticello Public Schools to support the new baseball field, local Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, and Eagle Scouts, and many military veteran organizations. One of the programs we are most proud of is the Student Scholarship Program. Last year, Monticello American Legion Post 260 donated over 50 $1,000 scholarships to help educate our leaders of tomorrow. Today, I would like to recognize four recipients of the American Legion scholarships. Jay Anderson, Madeline Johnson, Eric Kaufman, Jordan Larson. Thank you, and we wish everyone success in their future educations. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kara Radke. I teach a success class at the Monticello High School. I'm also the school district family and student advocate. And I'm presenting the Amos and Gladys Zumbrunnen Memorial Scholarship. The criteria established as follows. There will be three scholarships to a four-year institution, two scholarships to a one- or two-year institution. The student must be pursuing a degree in a health-related field. The student must obtain a B-minus average during high school to receive the scholarship. Congratulations to these winners. Dakota Diamond. Riley Guyon Halgett. Caitlin Hins, Emma Mackey, and Taylor Twight. Hello, I will be presenting the anonymous number two scholarship. My name is Brett Crone. I teach band at Monticello High School. 
The criteria for this scholarship is that the student must be serious about education and career oriented. Congratulations to these winners, Zoe Rush, Jacob Sorensen, Khan Meng Yang. Congratulations. I will be presenting the anonymous number three scholarship. My name is Jen Mackey and I teach middle school band. The following are the criteria for this scholarship. This student will attend a two-year community college or a four-year college or university. They will show evidence of success in courses of academic rigor in their junior and senior year. And they will be involved in faith-based activities in their church or FCA. Congratulations goes to Cole Stewart, very hardworking and deserving young man. Hello, my name is Sarah Bobby, and I teach third grade at Little Mom. I will be presenting the class of 68 scholarship. This student must be a graduating senior. They should have a C average or better. The student must be continuing their education and consideration will be given for participation in school activities and also for involvement in civic, community, and church activities. Congratulations to Madison Kesty, who is the recipient of this year's Class of 68 scholarship. Madison, you are an amazing person. I was so proud to be your fifth grade teacher, and I continue to be so proud of you now. I am so excited to see what the future brings you. Best of luck. Hi, I'm Joe Rush. I'm president of Education Minnesota Monticello. We are a teachers union that has been serving students since the early 1990s. We are firmly committed to improving Monticello schools, ensuring that we wholeheartedly support Monticello students who choose a career in education. With that in mind, we provide three $1,000 scholarships to people who are going on to college to become teachers. This year's recipients are Myla, Bondness, Caitlin Johnson, and Autumn Olson. Congratulations, ladies. We are excited to see you lead, and we are excited to see you mold future generations. Hello, I will be presenting the next scholarship, the Dr. Frank and Carolyn Ellison Memorial. My name is Therese Olson, and I work as the counselor at Monticello Middle School. This scholarship was established by Dr. Ellison's wife, Carolyn Ellison, and family members as a memorial tribute to their husband and father, who was a longtime physician and school board member in the Monticello community. After Mrs. Ellison's death in March of 1996, the family wanted to continue providing this scholarship in honor of their parents. Congratulations to recipients Tyler Sampson and Hannah Woolston. My name is Lori Hansen, I'm the DA students at the middle school. I will be presenting the Fig and Shell Family Memorial. This scholarship will be awarded in memory of Mr. James Fig and Shell, a longtime business owner in Monticello and a member of the Monticello School Board. This scholarship is available for a student who will be attending a technical school or community college. Congratulations, John Humphreys. I'm proud and happy to share this with John as I've gotten to know him this senior year, and he is an outstanding and engaging young man. I will be presenting the next scholarship, which is the Gary L. Pringle Memorial Smith Hayes Scholarship. My name is Joy White, and I teach fourth grade. Attorneys Greg Smith and Thomas Hayes will designate one scholarship in memory of the late Gary L. Pringle, former attorney in the law firm of Smith, Pringle, and Hayes. The interest that Mr. Pringle had in the area of conservation was well known throughout the community of Monticello. For that reason, the applicants for this scholarship must be planning on pursuing a career in botany, forestry, or horticulture. Applicants must be enrolled in a four-year college degree program leading to a bachelor's degree. Students must have maintained a minimum of a B average while in high school. Congratulations, Sydney Lumpke. I am incredibly proud of you, Sid. Continue to invest in others and lead by example. Your future is so bright. Best of luck as you continue on your path of success. My name is Michelle Thompson, and I teach sixth grade reading at the middle school. 
I am presenting the Jeremy J. Teicher Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations to Spencer Lewis. Right. We are Jim and Terry Johnson, and we are here tonight to present the Johnson Memorial Scholarship, which is given in memory of our parents, Ken and Mary Ann Johnson, and Russ and Betty Johnson. Yes, we were both Johnsons. It is awarded to a student who embodies the traits that they valued, courtesy, respect, and service to community. This evening, we are honored to present this scholarship to Emma Curry. Hello, my name is Craig Guyon and I teach CIS Econ. I will be presenting the Kiwanis Club of Buffalo Scholarship. The scholarship will be awarded to a candidate that has a history of volunteering in the community. Congratulations, Alex Opatz. I will be presenting the Leo Baker Memorial Scholarship. My name is Kim Nygaard and I teach fifth grade at Little Mountain. This scholarship is in memory of Mr. Leo Baker, a longtime resident of Monticello. Congratulations, Mia Bannock. Hello everyone, my name is Joe Mackey and I teach biology at uh, the high school. Um, first thing I'd like to do is congratulate the class of 2020 on this milestone event and their great accomplishment in these unprecedented times. I know this will be something that none of us will ever forget. Today I'm presenting the Little Mountain Summit Scholarship. The recipients must have attended Monticello High School for at least the preceding two years. Ability shall be the main factor in determining who is awarded the scholarship. Uh, to continue receiving the scholarship, the recipient must present a transcript from the previous college year indicating that the student has carried a normal class load and has maintained a C-plus average, uh, both of which I know uh, the recipients will have no problem accomplishing. So without further ado, it is my honor to announce this year's Little Mountain Summit Scholarship to Jacob Keller and Catherine Therese. Hi, I'm Wendy Lemke, and this is my daughter Kelly Lemke and her guide dog Ellie. And along with my mother Gladys Wilberg and my other daughter Taylor Lemke, we are here to present a memorial scholarship in honor of my brother Luke Lemke. He was a Monticello graduate of the class of 2011, and he started college at St. Cloud State University. Sadly, he passed away during his first semester. He was interested in physics, mathematics, and anything to do with a computer. He would be honored to help a student who is graduating this spring. Sadly, you had to miss a the last part of your senior year, and my brother also missed a lot of his classes during his senior year as well due to various health issues. We wish you the absolute best with your future. Congratulations to... Tanner Zawicki. We wish you all the best. Our next scholarship this evening is the Mike Lynch Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was established by Monticello High School graduates of the class of 1998. This year's recipient is Paige Danforth. Congratulations, Paige. Hello, my name is Michelle Thompson. I currently teach sixth grade reading at the middle school. But when these seniors were in first grade, I taught first grade at Pinewood Elementary. I am presenting the Min Med STEM Scholarship. These fabulous high school seniors are all pursuing careers in STEM fields. Congratulations to my former first grader, Sawyer McCullough. And also to the lovely Kelsey Waters. Congratulations. My name is Heidi Scusa. I teach physical education at the middle school. I will be presenting the Mississippi Summit Scholarship. Congratulations to these winners, Jamie Forsty, Jaden Nelson, Morgan Nystwin, Dina Farrows, and Ian Romani. The Monticello Activities Office presents four scholarships tonight. 
Some of the money raised at our annual golf tournament goes to support these scholarships. I'm also representing all of our coaches and advisors here tonight. Each scholarship we will be awarding is for $1,000. Our first recipient participated in cross country, swimming, first robotics, and was on our tech team and tennis. He apparently did not sleep during his four years at Monticello High School. Congrats to Hunter Samard. Our second recipient excelled in our fine arts. She was a standout in our one act and musical. Congratulations to Macy Reynolds. Our third recipient has stayed involved over her four years. She's been in soccer, dance, basketball, and track. Congratulations to Allie Frickle. And our fourth recipient he participated in football, track and seemed to be at almost every home event. Congratulations, Jacob Suter. Thank you. I will be presenting the next scholarship. My name is Jared Hines. I teach middle school social studies. The Monticello Boys Lacrosse Scholarship will go to a graduating senior who will be attending a four-year college or VO Tech Community College specialized training license and has a 3.8 GPA or better. Congratulations, Lionel Fuentes Rodriguez. I will be presenting the Monticello Center Court Club Scholarship. My name is Craig Guy and I'm the head girls basketball coach here at Monticello. The criteria for the scholarship are applicants must plan to attend a two or four year school, be a Monticello Magic girls or boys basketball player in the 2019-2020 season, have a GPA of 3.0 or higher, the player has helped coach, teach youth basketball players, and has participated in the Monticello Center Court Club. Congratulations to Nicholas McNaughton and Lauren Zwak. I'm presenting the next scholarship, and my name is Annie Emanuel. I am a paraprofessional at the Monticello High School in the DCD program. I am presenting the scholarship for the Monticello Chamber of Commerce. Congratulations to Elena Starzak and Natalie Thiessen. The next scholarship will be the Monticello Football Booster Club. This student must be a Monso Magic varsity football player in the 2019-2020 season, has helped teach, coach youth football players. Sign and follow the Monso football commitment to excellence. Congratulations, Thomas Van Keulen. My name is Joy White and I will be presenting the Monticello JC Scholarship. The student must display community service and volunteerism work within their junior or senior year. The student must be a Monticello High School graduate. Congratulations, Emerson Brooks. I am so proud of you, Emerson. I noticed your desire to serve and invest in others, even in kindergarten. Best of luck as you continue on your path of success. Resilience. Resilience is defined as the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. Another word for resilience is toughness. Both are a choice. It is a conscious decision to be resilient or not get back up after getting knocked down. Born right after 9-11, living through the recession, and now graduating during a pandemic, I would challenge anyone to come up with a class that has fought through more adversity and won. You have all earned the right to not only graduate high school, but also from here on forward, be women and men. You have earned the right to start the next chapter in your life. You have earned the right to be the future leaders of this great nation. My name is Tony Velashek and I'm president of the Monticello Alliance. Our club has been involved in the scholarships programs since the inception back in 1984 and have donated over a half a million dollars. This year, we are proud to be giving away 10 $1,000 scholarships to the following students. Chase, Boken, Victoria Brandt, Sophia 
Carson. Austin Hageman. Jacob Cushall. Ellie Machmer. Zoe Pierce. Braden Royger. Sebastian Sievers. And Garrett Wallen. Congratulations and always stay resilient. My name is Michelle Thompson and I teach sixth grade reading at the Monticello Middle School. Tonight I will be presenting the Monticello Nuclear Generating Plant Social Club Scholarship. Congratulations, Mason Lovegren. Hello, my name is Tracy Baller, and I teach first grade at Little Mountain Elementary. I am presenting the Monticello Retiree Scholarship. The Monticello Public Schools Retiree Scholarship is a group of former employees from Monticello School District that have joined together to provide scholarships for Monticello graduating seniors. Applicant must have an academic grade point average of 2.0 or greater. They must have been involved in extracurricular activities and have been performing community service. The applicant may apply the scholarship towards any academic college, trade school, or vocational school. The student should show evidence of a strong work ethic, positive attitude, and the ability to work cooperatively. Congratulations to these winners. Brendan Fee. Ryan Harvey. Caitlin Reimer. Abigail Stupar. And Luke Suki. Hey, my name is Jim Johnson, and I'm proud to be here tonight to uh, give our uh, Monticello Rotary Club scholarships. Rotary is a global network of 1.2 million neighbors, friends, leaders, and problem solvers who see a world where people unite to take action to create lasting change across the globe, in our communities, and in ourselves. And that's what we saw in these three young people who we are going to uh, provide scholarships with tonight. The Monticello Rotary Club has been involved in our community for over 65 years and has been involved in this scholarship program since it began. Tonight, I'm honored to present the Monticello Rotary Club scholarships to Luke Braun, Callie Christensen, and Madeline Tanner. Congratulations. Hello, good evening. I'm Lori Bartlett, and I represent the Monticello Senior Center. I would like to congratulate Connor Pippert on the recipient of the scholarship awarded from the seniors. Thank you. Good evening, I am Sharon Shaw, president of the Monticello Women of Today organization, which is an organization of women from our area that have joined together not only to form friendships, but to grow as individuals through learning opportunities and service projects. As an organization, we are dedicated to participating in our community and more so giving back to our community. Each year, our chapter awards a scholarship to a young graduating lady who has demonstrated exceptional leadership skills and academic achievements. This year, I'm pleased to award this scholarship to Jessica Lord. Congratulations. I will be presenting the next scholarship. My name is Lori Coton Beetle, and I happily work at the Monticello High School in the kitchen. Mar Moon Motorsports Scholarship will be awarded to a student who plans to attend a two-year technical college program for motorcycle, marine, small engine, diesel, or automotive service or repair. The power sports industry will have a need for skilled technicians for the foreseeable future.
And we want to help a student who is motivated to start a rewarding technical career in our exciting industry without a traditional four-year college degree. It is my honor to announce the Moon Motorsports Scholarship winner, Justin Montgomery. I've had the privilege of knowing Justin and his family for many years, and I am so proud of him and this accomplishment. Hello, I am Jody Peterson, president of the North Wright County Rivers Hawks Booster Club that supports the high school girls hockey team. The North Wright County River Hawks high school team is a co-op of high school players from Monticello and St. Michael Albertville. The Booster Club is giving out one $500 scholarship to one Monticello high school player in the program and one to SMA. The winner for each were chosen by the community and or high school selection committee. The Monticello winner of the North Wright County Riverhawk $500 scholarship is McKenna Wilson. Congratulations, McKenna. My name is Kristen Zalik. I'm a high school English teacher here at Monticello, and I'm proud to be here today to give the very first Otterson Family Scholarship Award. We created this scholarship in memory of my dad, John Otterson, who taught at Pinewood Elementary for over 30 years. My dad loved this district. He loved the people here. Dad coached many Monticello sports, and he proudly coached my sister and me in fast pitch softball. So I am happy to give this scholarship to a softball player. He loved music. He played trombone in high school, and he loved to sing karaoke, and he even starred in a production of Oliver at his high school. He had a beautiful voice. So I'm proud to give this award to a choir, orchestra, band, and musical member. Dad loved teaching. He loved his students and his colleagues. So I'm proud to give this award to someone who's going into the field of education. It is my honor to give our very first Otterson Family Scholarship to a well-rounded, talented young lady who proudly serves her community and does so with grace and humility. So thank you to your, for your commitment to Monticello and congratulations, Heather Bruley. Good evening, my name is Margaret Keller and I teach kindergarten at the Eastview Education Center. I will be presenting the Pete and Karen Stupar Scholarship. Congratulations, McKenna Moran. Hi, my name is Kim Nygaard and I teach fifth grade at Little Mountain Elementary. I'm also uh, one of the coaches for the girls cross country and track team and I will be presenting the Philip LaValle Memorial Scholarship. This year's um, recipient is a young lady who has been part of our cross country and track programs since she was in seventh grade, both uh, as a varsity runner and a JV runner. And it is a delight because she is just one of our all time little girls and she'll always be part of our family. And I know the LaValle family considers her part of their family as well. They wish that they could be here, but this is kind of a, a hard moment for them to think about every year. So congratulations to Elise Yeager. Good evening. My name is Shelley Johnson. I'm a former superintendent of schools here in Monticello. Uh, I retired in 1997 from the superintendency. But back in, I'll just give you a little bit of background in the scholarship fund. Back in 1984, uh, I had a vision for our graduating seniors. And uh, that was to offer local scholarships to them. And so I created a foundation, a tax-exempt foundation, not knowing what it would grow into. And my goodness, it has prospered unbelievably well. And uh, the first year, I think we gave out like 12 or 13 scholarships that were all contributed by local individuals and local businesses. It grew every year until uh, this year and it's still growing and so it's been a wonderful opportunity for our students to leave here with a local scholarship in hand that provided them with some money for whatever they were going into if it was the military if it was tech school 
or a four-year college, um, all of those qualified and they could apply for a scholarship that was given out in a field that they were interested in pursuing. So now rolling ahead to this year, it's my honor to give out a $1,000 scholarship to Jenna Riordan, a graduating senior here from Monticello. And I would just like to wish you, Jenna, the best of everything in the world and hope that uh, your career blossoms just like your high school career did. So you are the recipient, Jenna. Thank you. Hello, my name is Shelley Radke, and I'm here to present the Sherry Sear Levine Scholarship for $1,000. Sherry was my sister who graduated from Monticello High School in 1983. Sherry was involved in many activities during her time at MHS, including cheerleading, one act, three act, musicals, pop group, and concert choir. She was an enthusiastic leader, and her love for music was obvious and really beautiful. Sherry passed away in 2003, and we started this scholarship shortly afterwards to keep her memory alive and to encourage future music lovers to follow their dreams. The 2020 Sherry Sear Levine Scholarship recipient is Nicole Worm. Hello, my name is Jared Hines. I teach middle school social studies, and I will be presenting the Smith Family Scholarship. The scholarship, called the Monticello Times Scholarship through 2005, was established in 1984 during the charter year of the District 882 Educational Foundation by Lynn and Margaret Smith, former publishers of the community's weekly newspaper. The scholarship has been continued by their three children and their spouses, Donald and Nancy Smith, both 1966 Monticello High School graduates, Warren and Barbara Smith, both 1968 Monticello High School graduates, Norma Smith Olson, a 1973 graduate, and Mark Olson. Congratulations, Blair Boutet. My name is Margaret Keller, and I teach kindergarten at the Eastview Education Center. I will be presenting the Stephen Harmon Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Noah Johnson. Our next scholarship is the three of a kind scholarship. We have three winners this year. The first is Jack Barzi, Lily Klimish Cox, and Connor Crummy. Congratulations to all three winners. My name is Michelle Thompson, and I teach sixth grade reading at the Monticello Middle School. Tonight, I will be presenting the Tom Keating Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Myla DeCourcy. Hello, I am Becca Kunkel, and I teach eighth grade global studies. I am presenting the Wright Hennepin Electric Scholarship. Wright Hennepin Cooperative Electric Association and Wright Hennepin Holding Company are proud to provide scholarships to help the students of our members further their education. Wright Hennepin began its scholarship program in 1988 and has since awarded almost $750,000 to more than 560 local students. Scholarships are funded from unclaimed capital credits. Because Wright Hennepin is a not-for-profit member-owned cooperative, capital credits represent annual margins returned to members. In addition, Wright Hennepin Holding Company, which provides the legal structure for the cooperative's diversified businesses, donates funds to help make the scholarships possible. Today's recipient will receive a $1,200 scholarship. Congratulations to Sadie Jude. One of my favorite parts of awards night is when our departments name 
a person who was outstanding in their department. Perhaps they took every class the department offered. Perhaps they stood out in some special way. But at this time, I would like to introduce our department awards along with our community recognition awards. Thank you. Hi, I'm Allison Colwell, and I'm presenting the Art Chamber of Commerce Award. The Art Chamber of Commerce Award goes to a very deserving senior, Brooke Jennings. Brooke has been an, an exceptional arts, artist and student over the past four years. She has taken almost every art class offered by the department, creating impressive original artwork ranging from a variety of mediums, including drawings, paintings, sculptures, ceramics, and digital art. Brooke truly cares about her quality of art, continually striving at becoming better and more original. Brooke excels at digital artwork and has made numerous pieces that have been on display for others to see and learn from. Brooke received the People's Choice Award with her digital artwork at the 2020 District Art Show. Congratulations, Brooke, and best of luck to you in the future. Good evening, I'm Kari Graberg from the Monticello High School Business Department, and I'm here tonight to pre present the Chamber of Commerce Award um, for the Business Department. On behalf of the Business Department, Ms. Rogers and myself would like to congratulate the entire class of 2020. This class is filled with so many hardworking and bright individuals. We had a difficult time narrowing it down to just one award recipient. But ultimately, one name kept coming up over and over again. We aim to choose our recipient based on qualities that businesses value in their employees, and this person stood out to us because she's a hard worker, often going above and beyond expectations, observant and kind, and is willing to go out of her way to help other people. She's a creative, outside-the-box thinker and uses these gifts to come up with creative solutions to problems. She is good with words, often using them to build other people up. She took all of the business classes at Monticello High School participated in DECA, and served as RTA. I am excited to present the 2020 Chamber of Commerce Business Education Award to Ms. Mackenzie Florick. Hello, my name is Derek Swart. I teach in the English department here at Monticello High School, and today I have the honor of presenting this year's English Department Chamber of Commerce Award. To call this moment unprecedented is, for one of the first times in my lifetime, not hyperbolic. As a people, as a global community, as a species, we stand upon a precipice from which it seems impossible to return to normal. And if we cast our gaze forward toward new points of stability, that new normal will come from the efforts of leaders like this year's recipient. The recipient of this year's award is precisely the sort of person who gives me the confidence in tomorrow's leaders to know that we will be okay. To call her a remarkable learner is neither overstatement nor merely effusive praise. Her eagerness to know is apparent to any teacher she's had. Within the English department, one teacher remarked, I love her willingness to push boundaries and try something that may not be easy. Having taught her in more than one class myself, I can attest to that. Another of her teachers identified her as someone who is in constant search of self-improvement. Quote, her desire to learn and grow as a student and person is a degree that I could only dream to see in more students. That teacher continued, calling her, quote, voice as a writer and skill as a reader, special and superb. This year's recipient, in my own words, is brilliant in the way that only two or three other students I've met are brilliant. She has the sort of trifecta of academic inclination that rarely finds confluence. She's intelligent, she's reflective, and she's communicative. That is, she can think, she likes to think, and she can tell you what she thinks. A great regret for today is this young woman cannot mount a stage to the thunderous applause that she deserves. But it is still with great pride and joy that I present this year's English Department Award to Cat Terrace. The recipient of this year's FACTS Chamber of Commerce Award goes to an individual who has shown great talent, dedication, and has grown tremendously throughout the last three years. This student fits the family and consumer science standards of becoming a well-rounded, real-world-ready individual by developing the knowledge, skills, attitudes, and behaviors needed for success.
This student plans to continue within the culinary field next year while attending Madison Area Technical College in Madison, Wisconsin. It is my great pleasure to give this year's Fax Award to Mr. Spencer Lewis. Congratulations, Spencer, and I wish you all the best of luck next year. There are many students who walk through my doors as a freshman and take many classes with me throughout their four years of high school. Hunter Johnson walked through the doors and really has never left. He has taken pretty much every class we offer and has been my teacher's assistant through his senior year. Hunter has been my go-to person when I need things done, especially with his outstanding CAD skills. I have lost track of all the drawings and projects he has helped me complete. Hunter also became a mentor to an Engineering 2 class as he was able to assist with problem solving and operating the 3D printers. I would love to keep Hunter around, but bigger and better things are waiting for him, so I will have to find someone else to fill his big shoes. I have enjoyed having him in class, and as my TA, he will surely be missed. We are proud that Hunter Johnson is the Industrial Technology Department's Chamber of Commerce Award winner. Good evening. I'm Mr. Stoick. I teach math and science at the high school, and I'm here to present the Chamber of Commerce Math Student Award. You know, there are some students who do well in school because they work hard, they ask a lot of questions, and they never give up until they have everything figured out and understood. And there are other students who are smart enough to do well on their own by working carefully and thinking through things. And finally, there are some students who are good at both. They figure most things out by themselves, but when they hit trouble, they're quick to ask questions and get it figured out in an all-out all effort to get it down. This year, Jaden Nelson is our award winner, and she is one of those students that does both well. Hands down, she won the Most Questions Asked Award for this year in calculus, and it wasn't even close. But she also figured a lot of stuff out on her own, and those two traits will allow her to go far in any career that she chooses. Jaden Nelson is well-deserving of this award as a math student of the year. Congratulations, Jaden. Rarely does a high school student have the passion, drive, charisma, and skill set that John Humphreys possesses. Over the past four years, John has served as commentator, cameraman, director, news anchor, editor, technician, custodian, and narrator. His work ethic is incredible, and he has proven you can take, come on him anytime he takes on a task. John is loyal to his team, coaches, and teachers, yet never loses sight of his moral compass. That is quite admirable. I have found John's creativity to be very unique when compared to his peers, and it is that attribute that sets him apart from the rest. There is no doubt John will go on to accomplish whatever he sets his mind to. It is my pleasure to grant the Chamber Award for Media Productions to a student that I consider a close friend, John Humphreys. My name is Brett Crone. I am the band director at Monticello High School, and on behalf of Nathan Herfindahl, choir director, it's our honor to present this year's Aryan Award winners. These are outstanding seniors in band and orchestra that are sponsored by our local Rotary chapter, nominated on and voted by their peers. It's my honor to present this year's award to Luis Garcia. And this year's choir award goes to Lindsay Walker. Ready? Good evening. Our award winner this year is one of the most wonderful students that we have at Monticello High School. She is an individual that makes others better by being a positive influence and a welcoming personality that draws other people in. Students like to be around her because of her warmth and caring attitude. In class, she is a great team player who helps others be the best that they can be. She is an individual who continually looks for the best in others while being a great role model. There is not a person who may be more deserving of this award than Kyra Abbas. Congratulations, Kyra. Hello, everyone. My name is Joe Mackey, and I teach biology at Monticello High School. And today I'm re representing the uh, Monticello High School Science Department, uh, and we'll be awarding uh, ch the Chamber of Commerce Award to one of our science students. Each year when we select a student for this award, uh, the process goes something like this. We'll sit down at lunchtime, 
We'll throw out a few names to students that we've had in the past, and we'll have a discussion. And uh, eventually we come up with someone who we feel is, is a good fit for the award. This year, because of our stay-at-home order, there was no discussion. A simple email and uh, one person's name. And the response that I got from uh, my colleagues in the department was a simple, absolutely, this person gets the award. And I can't think of a better, uh, more fitting person to receive this award uh, who's always smiling and gives it uh, his 100%. So this year's recipient of the Chamber of Commerce Award representing Monticello High School Science Department is Brock Yeager. Hi, I'm Joe Rush, and I am here to represent the most highly qualified teachers in the district, the Social Studies Department at the high school. With our Social Studies Chamber of Commerce Award, we had a wide pool of students to choose from. Let's face it, almost all of you get A's or B's in our class. While Social Studies is not really about grades or Google searches or who remembers stuff, it's about life. It's about re-examining the past, it's about being inquisitive, it's about critical thinking, and it's about empathy. And it's also preparing for the future. Congratulations to Sawyer McCullough, this year's recipient of the Social Studies Chamber of Commerce Award. He has all these attributes that I mentioned, and they will serve him well in the future. And by the way, Sawyer, just to be clear, you don't get any money for this award. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Allison Colwell, and I'm presenting the World Language Chamber of Commerce Award. Tyler Sampson is a language student of excellence. He consistently challenges himself to engage with the learning process. Tyler is creative and inquisitive. He has excelled at finding sources to enrich his language and cultural awareness and, and answer his deep questions. He has perse persevered and developed many language skills throughout his high school career. Tyler is dedicated. There was a time during this distance learning process that Tyler showed up to a Google Meet from the parking lot of his workplace dressed in his uniform, ready to punch in, but he wanted to complete his oral interview first. It was an interview that I will never forget. This dedication and hard work has ha made him a confident and trilingual person. The World Language Department is proud of Tyler and his accomplishments. We are excited to encourage him along his career path as he pursues elementary education with an emphasis in Spanish. Congratulations, Tyler. The Right Tech Chamber of Commerce Award goes to Megan Springsteen. She is a highly motivated student who always strives to deliver exceptional work. She is a very strong academic student who has a strong work ethic and always works to the highest of her potential. She holds herself to very high standards and understands what it takes to be successful in her pursuit of a healthcare career. She is most deserving of this recognition. Best of luck in your future. Good evening, class of 2020. I'm Gary Revenig, Activities Director at Monticello High School. I wish I could see all of you tonight, but at least you'll have this video you can save from this special award ceremony. I want to thank Sarah Welk and Robin Zwak for helping put this together. Class of 2020, I say thank you for four outstanding years at Monticello High School. The school year was successful overall because of your leadership. All of you lost out on opportunities and many lost the activity you cherished the most. For this, I am sorry. At this time, I would like to recognize our three sport athletes. We counted last spring to determine this award. Their hard work, their dedication, and their leadership has not gone unnoticed. Tonight, I will recognize Jacob Keller, Cammie Kitzman, Sawyer McCullough, Alex Opatz, Hunter Samard, and Lauren Zwak. These six students excelled in their academics while participating in three sports. Jacob Keller. Jacob has a 4.0 GPA participated in soccer, basketball, track, 13-time letter winner, 12-time academic award winner, first-team all-state soccer, two-time all-conference soccer, 
state participant in basketball, all-conference basketball, honorable mention all-conference track, three-sport captain, Jacob Keller. Cammie Kitzman, 3.56 GPA, soccer, gymnastics, and track, 11-time letter winner, 11-time academic award winner, all-conference in soccer, honorable mention all-conference in gymnastics, Gymnast gymnastics captain, Cammy Kitzman. Sawyer McCullough, 3.99 GPA, cross country, swimming, track, 11-time letter winner, 12-time academic award winner, all-conference in cross country, two-time all-conference in swimming, state participant in swimming, honorable mention all-conference in track, three-sport captain, Sawyer McCullough. Alex Opatz, 3.83 GPA, football, hockey, golf, nine-time letter winner, nine-time academic award winner, two-time state participant in hockey, Alex Opatz. Hunter Samard, 3.95 GPA, cross country, swimming, tennis, eight-time letter winner, 10-time academic award winner, all-conference in swimming, swimming captain. Hunter also lettered three times in our first robotics. Hunter Samard. Lauren Zwak, 3.95 GPA, soccer, basketball, track, 13-time letter winner, 12-time academic award winner, honorable mention all-conference basketball, two-time all-conference in track, three-sport captain, Lauren Zwak. All right, I'd also, the activities office also recognizes athlete of the year. So I'd like to do that at this time. Each head coach places a vote for female and male senior athlete of the year. Athletes need to participate in at least two sports. Our female athlete of the year participated in soccer, basketball, and track. Congratulations, Lauren Zwak. Our male athlete of the year participated in soccer, basketball, and track. Congratulations, Jacob Keller. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jim Wallen. I'm the Children and Youth Chairman for Monticello Legion Post 260. It's my honor to uh, present these awards to uh, two outstanding young men. Uh, number one be Riley Banier, and number two, Riley Herb. These two gentlemen were uh, sent to St. John's University and uh, participated in the American Legion Boys State. We have for them a certificate of uh, citation for uh, doing that and a good citizen's uh, certificate. Also, they will each be receiving a medal and an application for uh, scholarships from the American Legion. Congratulations. Good evening, my name is Diane Teeters. I'm here on behalf of the American Legion Ladies Auxiliary, here to present our Girl State Representative, Catherine Terrace Cat, with her Citizenship Award and her scholarship for the 2020-21 school year. Thank you, Cat, for all you've done for the American Legion Ladies Auxiliary. Our next community scholarship is actually from the Cambridge National Guard. Uh, every year they award a scholarship to a worthy recipient. And this year's recipient of that award is Riley Guyon Helgut. <laughs> Isani County Beyond the Yellow Ribbon, located in Cambridge, Minnesota, is proud to be presenting a $2,500 scholarship to Riley, a senior at Monticello High School. Riley qualifies for this because his stepfather is the operations NCO at the Cambridge Armory. Riley is the third member of Monticello High School and the third member of his family to receive this award. 
We'd like to think that because of the scholarship, we're accompanying Riley down to Arizona State University, where he's going to be pursuing a career in engineering. We're proud and excited for you. Way to go, Riley. This concludes our awards ceremony this evening. Heartfelt congratulations to all of our scholarship recipients. We want to once again thank all of the members of the foundation who make this annual event so special for our students, families, and community. This is a wonderful evening only made possible through your generosity. Most importantly, congratulations to the class of 2020. We are proud of your accomplishments and wish you the very best.